we're going to review how to find solutions to linear equations in Excel. So let's first of all just start with a brief introduction on how to solve linear equations. Um, we have, for example, 3x minus 9 equals 0. We know that that's linear because the variable x only has a number uh, multiplied by it, a constant. If we had something like x times y, that would be nonlinear. If we had something like x squared, that would be nonlinear. Uh, square root, anything else except just x times a coefficient um, plus values. You can have beta. Um, you can also have other variables. Um, I'll do gamma times y. So we might have two variables, x and y, and then equals to, um, you know, let's say zero. Okay, so that would be a linear equation if alpha, beta, and gamma are all going to be constants. So the solution to this one, um, you, know, you can do it by hand, x equals 3. We're going to be talking about linear equations, though, where it might be difficult to solve those by hand. So we want to be able to use a tool like Excel um, or another tool like Python or MATLAB, for example. Okay, um, so let's just review an equation, uh, two equations and two unknowns. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just write uh, two equations and two unknowns. So we have 3x minus uh, 9y equals minus 42. And then another equation, 2 times x plus 4 times y equals 2. Now this is simple enough that you could still rearrange it, you know, solve this equation uh, for x and then plug x into this equation and then solve for y and then uh, get the values for x and y. So you can do that, but let's set this up as a in matrix form. So we're going to use uh, matrices to solve this. So what we'll do in this case is just do 3, uh, negative 9, 2, and 4 times x and y. Okay, so we've put it into matrix form and that equals negative 42 and 2. So let's go over to Excel now and just solve this. Okay, so uh, the solution just by doing the substitutions, uh, we want to check our answer, but um, x is going to equal negative 5 and y is going to equal 3. Okay, and the way that we're going to do that through matrix multiplications is just um, you know, this is a matrix that we'll call maybe A, and then this is a vector that we'll call Z. Um, it could also be a, a matrix as well, and then I'll put B here. Okay, so the way that we solve this is that we just take the inverse of A. So Z equals A inverse times B. So that's the way that we're going to solve it in Excel. So we'll just take the inverse of this A matrix and then multiply it by B, which is this vector here. Okay, so um, go ahead and open up Excel um, as and uh, Excel. Um, I'll go ahead and open up the app and um, let's make our workbook. I'm just going to drag this over here to the side. Um, just so we can have our values. And I'll minimize this just a little bit and drag this over to the side as well. Okay, so we've got our um, matrix that we want to set up. Um, so let's first of all just go ahead and set up our values. 3, negative 9, uh, 2, and 4. Okay, and then we also have our B coefficient. Uh, so I'll just put a box around this. Um, let's see. Um, we will do, it's a little harder to see in uh, condensed form. Um, let me just make this a little bit bigger. So there's our cells. Uh, I'll put a, just a thick border around it and then bring it back to uh, this side. Okay. Okay, so there's our uh, border around the A matrix. Okay, and then we also have a B vector as well. And we'll just do that as negative 42 and 2. So the way that we solve this, okay, so x is going to be right here. What we'll do is we'll do a, um, first of all, that's going to be equal to, uh, we have two functions. Uh, we'll do a matrix inverse, okay, so you can see that. But what we need to do, first of all, is, um, 
let me make this a uh, inverse right here um, and we need to select the range where we want it to go okay so go ahead and make an area the same size as the matrix a because the inverse of it is going to have the same uh, dimensions and then hit the equal sign so we're going to do matrix inverse and then what we'll do is we'll select this region right here this a region okay and uh, and then instead of pushing enter at this point this is one of the tricky things with this matrix inverse you need to hold down control and shift and then hit enter okay and then you'll see the inverse of that matrix a okay and then X is going to be a times B so I'll just copy B right here and then I'll have X right there so the next thing we need to do is multiply this matrix A times this vector B okay so I'm going to say my X is going to occupy these two cells right here and I'll say equals now and then I'll use the M mult okay so matrix multiplication and uh, when I hit the open parentheses it's going to ask me for array one that's going to be the one on the left hand side okay so it's going to be B7 to C8 and then the second one which is going to be just this uh, vector right here okay now again instead of hitting enter um, do control shift enter okay so there's our answer for um, I guess this would be Z right here this would be our X value and this would be our Y value okay so for a next example and I want you to try this on your own now before proceeding uh, with the video um, what we're going to do now is do one with just a little bit uh, just an additional equation here so um, let's see let's come up with an additional variable Z so I'll do X minus 2y minus Z equals 6 that'll be the first one and then a second one um, that you'll put in there is 2 times X plus 2 times Y um, equals Z plus 1 okay so you're gonna need to bring the Z onto that side of the equation um, and then a final one 2 times Z a minus 1 equals y plus x okay so three equations three unknowns um, go ahead and try this in Excel and uh, go ahead and push pause right now okay so um, let's go ahead and um, work through this one um, what we'll do first of all is just go ahead and rearrange it into matrix form okay so this problem in matrix form we're going to have um, on this side, okay, let me get my pen back here. Um, okay, make this uh, full screen and uh, hopefully get my pen back. Okay, I'll do this one in blue. Okay, and um, so let's go ahead and I'll make this just a little bit bigger. We can see it. Um, okay, problem with the pen there. Okay, so let me um, go ahead and write this in matrix form. And what we'll have is X, Y, and Z. And that is going to equal a right hand side. So the first thing that we'll do is take this first equation right here and the value is going to be 1, negative 2, and negative 1, and then the right hand side is going to be 6. Okay, now the second equation, we're going to bring z over onto this side, so that's going to have a negative 1 there, and then we'll have a 2, and a 2, and then a 1. Okay, now, um, now I'm going to just bring the z to this side okay um, and so that is going to be a negative one for the right hand side of the equation or in this case is right here the negative one and then we're gonna have a one one and negative two okay so let's go ahead and put this into Excel 
and just see if we can um, solve this using uh, matrix multiplication and the uh, matrix inverse. Okay, and I'm going to combine this all into one operation as well. So I'm going to have my A matrix, which is going to be 1, negative 2, uh, negative 1, okay, and then 2, 2, and minus 1, and 1, 1, uh, negative 2, okay, and then have my B value as well. Um, move it over so we can see it. Uh, so we have 6, 1, and negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to have my um, answer. Uh, right here and um, I'm just going to select three cells. I'm not going to inverse A first of all. I'm just going to combine it all into one nested operation. So I'm going to multiply okay and then my first array is going to be A inverse. So now I'm going to do matrix inverse um, and then I'm going to select this array right here Okay, and then I'm going to hit comma, and I'm going to multiply that matrix inverse times B. Okay, so there's um, the end of it, and then I hold down control and shift and enter. Okay, so there's my answer um, to uh, the solution uh, of A inverse times B. So I just combined that into one uh, cell right there, and then clicked shift control uh, shift and enter okay so um, I just want to say uh, one thing about matrix inverses uh, matrix um, you know this inverse and solving linear equations Excel may not be um, the best place for that uh, we're also going to try it in MATLAB and Python as well uh, and then we'll also do uh, solutions of nonlinear equations as a second video as part of this series.